All right. What have I been saying all along about Kyrie Irving? I'm going to quiz you guys a little bit. Let me know in the comments below. What have I been saying for the past almost five years on record? I'm going to let you guys figure that out in the comments below. I want to talk about the Dallas Mavericks versus the Los Angeles Clippers series. Okay. Although it ended in six, this is one of the most electrifying, exciting matchups I've seen in recent NBA memory. And I hate that it was the first round. I also do wish Kawhi Leonard was healthy enough to play so we could see both teams at full strength, along with Tim Hardaway Jr., who also was out with an ankle sprain. But at the end of the day, though, you still have James Harden, you still have Paul George going against Kyrie Irving and Luka Doncic. And you also still have Russell Westbrook coming off the bench, man, you know, and, and Norman Powell. So I think this series was still just as good with or without Kawhi personally. Now, when I was talking about with Kyrie, what I've been saying, this is what I've been saying, the best offensive player I've ever witnessed. Forget skill. Just the best offensive player I've witnessed. Okay? Let's go ahead and watch this in the fourth quarter right here when the game was already out of hand. Now it's time to get into that bag. Let's watch. First of all, I don't know why the hell P.J. Tucker's in the game. <laughs> oh, his leg. No, no, no. Oh, my gosh. Look at his leg. No, no, Look at P.J. Tucker's right leg. Oh. Oh. Right there. That, that, that kind of hyperextended that contract. Now, I, I honestly don't know what Tyrell was thinking about. Good God almighty. By putting P.J. Tucker into the game. I, I think he think that was going to find some type of Tenacity, I, bro, the series was cooked. Once I seen P.J. Tucker playing actually rotational minutes, I said, yeah, it's over, bro. <laughs> that That is your um, adjustment. I mean, what was the adjustment? Kyrie had two points at, in the first half, 26 in the second half. Luka, damn, they had about 30. Uh, I think P.J. Tucker was guarding Luka the whole time. So Luka was really out there, damn, trying to get a triple-double on him. You know what I'm saying? Luka was chilling to the fourth quarter when he said, you know, it's time to get my stats up. But... First of all, the role players, P.J. PJ Washington played phenomenal. Derrick Jones played outstanding on defense. Uh, you had um, Green playing good. De Daniel Gafford, sleeper. Daniel Gafford and P.J. Washington, man, the, the, the two biggest sleepers in this trade deadline um, um, when they picked them up. Those are the two biggest pickups for the Dallas Mavericks, and I think that's going to make them a legit contender because the next one they play the OKC Thunder, which they match up very well with. The Dallas Mavericks can very much so – or very well be in the Western Conference Finals playing against either Denver or Minnesota in, the, in, in these next few weeks, you guys. So this is exciting. I, I really want Kyrie to really get another one, you know what I'm saying, uh, outside of Cleveland. I think that would be phenomenal for him and his brand because everybody has tried to put that man under the freaking bus, rocks, everything. Like, they try to ruin Kyrie Irving, and we ain't forget. We ain't forget. Moving on to the Los Angeles Clippers, though. James Harden will be an unrestricted free agent this summer. In the comments below, do you guys think James Harden will be returning to Los Angeles Clippers? I'm 50-50 on this. I can very much so see him turning, re returning to L.A., you know what I'm saying, hometown. Why not say in L.A.? L.A. is beautiful, you know what I'm saying? It's, 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 it's gorgeous out there, right? But then a part of me is like, does he stay with L.A.? Because... Also, Paul George can opt out to be a free agent. Russell Westbrook can opt out to be a free agent. So if those two players opt out to be a free agent and you're hard and you're like, damn, okay, PG, dang, they're gone. Russ probably gone. Kawhi is, you know, he hasn't really been healthy these past few years consistently. Um, do I want to stay with a team that technically could blow it up midseason if it's not working halfway through? I don't know. What does that look like? But then what are the other options for Harden out there? Like, what is he wanting in a contract? Because look, look, let's look at his current contract that he has right now. So he opted into a $35 million contract for the year, uh, for this season. So I'm guessing at this unrestricted free agency, he's going to win at least $30 million. At least $30 million. Now, what team can offer that? There's a, there's a few teams that can offer that. I think a, a, a good fit for Harden would be a team that doesn't have a point guard that – would just give him the, the the keys and he would be the 
the number one option. On the Clippers, it was like he was number one, number two, number three on any given night, um, especially with Kawhi out. Then it was him and Paul George, which he was able to play more better in the playoffs, I felt like, for a few games. The last two games, I don't know what happened. He just stopped being aggressive. When Harden wasn't aggressive in the game, I said, yeah, the game is cooked. When he's passing, 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 and not asserting himself, the Dallas Mavericks are okay with that because the moment he was asserting himself, I think it was in game four when they tied it, and he had almost what he had a thirty ball. I said that's that, that's the Harden that the Clippers need every single night. The moment he takes a back seat and lets Paul George and Norman Powell take most of the shots, unacceptable from a superstar. I'm gonna keep it a hundred. Unacceptable from a superstar. What I think James Harden should do is I think he should return, stay in L.A. Just don't go to another team at this point, man. I mean, you gotta think Clippers, Houston, and then he got himself out of Houston to the Nets. And then worked his way out of the Nets to the Clippers. It's just at this point, I think he should just bite the bullet, stay in LA, and make it work there. Um, because these other teams have a lot of young guys, and James is only getting older, so it's going to be kind of tough to insert someone who's going to want thirty plus million for the year. Um, now moving on to Paul George, like I said, he can opt out of his contract. So he can opt into forty eight million. Once again. Forty-eight million. James Harden opted into a thirty-five million dollars at thirty-four. At thirty-four, PG off opted into forty-eight million. Okay, if he opts out, this is what I see happening. If he opts out, he's going to force the Clippers' hand and say, "You know, what? I want fifty million. I want fifty million." Now it's going to be up to Steve Ballmer to say, "You know what? You're worth that." Or then you can go back to the drawing board and say, "What? What have we done?" Since Paul George has been here. So what he signed with the Clippers, right? 2020. Oh, wait. Uh, let's COVID year, right? So we're talking about the bubble and all that. So in these past four to five years, what have we gotten from the Clippers? Since Paul George has been there, okay? No finals appearances. Heck, Paul George has never been to the finals in his career. Even though he went toe-to-toe with Prime Braun. Think about that. We have saw Paul George in Indiana go toe-to-toe with Prime Braun. And then come to L.A., go to OKC, and then when the big moments arrive, with your back against the wall last night, Paul George goes 6 for 18, 18 points. Harden goes 5 for 16, 16 points, right? 13 assists, 7 rebounds, cool, almost triple double. But you guys got blown out, right? The game was out of reach in the fourth quarter. Once they hit the fourth quarter, the game was cooked, okay? The reason why I bring this up is, there's no way in a game six that Paul George, I love his game to death. James Harden, big James Harden fan. There's no way these two guys get outscored by Norman Powell. Your sixth man of the year comes into the game and pretty much puts you guys on his back. He's the one knocking big shots down. He's the one being aggressive. Your two main guys get outplayed by the sixth man? I, I think it was unacceptable. Um, very unacceptable. You can't disappear like that. But I will say this. What saved Harden and Paul George from all the scrutiny on social media was Drake and Kendrick Lamar dropping, I think, like three to four diss songs just yesterday alone. Okay? Had Drake and Kendrick not dropped the diss track, social media will be in uproar over Paul George and James Harden right now. You can book that. Because every everybody's forgetting about what the Clippers just did, about them waiting in the bed. Everybody's talking about Drake and Kendrick. So I think that's... The, these two guys are the biggest winners of, of the beef, to be honest with you. Uh, where do they go from here, man? Do the Clippers blow it up? I, I, I think they give it a half a season one more time and see if we can get healthy and just see what can happen because who knows what happens with Kawhi. Now, 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 now my thing with Kawhi, I want to say this before I exit out. What's up, Bear? If I'm Kawhi, right, or, or if I'm the Clippers, and, 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 and I see Kawhi play in the USA, I mean, if I see Kawhi play for Team USA, I'm like, man, he's 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 playing for Team USA. He looks pretty healthy, right? But we couldn't get him to play more than two games for us. I'm paying you all this money, and you going to play for Team USA and, and, and leaving us out to dry? The Clippers, that is? Although he'll have a few more months, of course, till USA camp starts, so he'll be able to get healthy. I understand that. But it's just the fact that, man, it's a lot of money to be on that bench right there. I do hope that Kawhi Leonard, whatever he got going on with his body, I think I I hope everything is well and okay because, man, it, ever since 
Zaza Pachulia. Kawhi ain't been right, man. And I blame, I blame Zaza for that, bro. But that's my split, you guys. Uh, let me know in the comments what you guys think. I think the... Yeah, Clippers are cooked. I ain't gonna lie to you. I'm excited for the Mavs and OKC. I'll make a whole video talking about that matchup uh, pretty soon here. But appreciate you guys tuning in. Hit that like button and subscribe if you have it. And uh, Drake and Kendrick, man. You, you guys save the day. Sayonara.